Hey, everybody, Ann here. Good news. I got my DoorDash card, and I'm on the schedule for the next four days, and tomorrow they're offering bonuses in Jackson, so bonus. So I'm happy, and um, yes, I'm still going to get my nursing license back and start nursing. And, um, well, I had a beautiful, wonderful Christmas. I hope all of you guys did, too. And I hope your New Year's coming up. I hope you have a great celebration and that the coming year brings you nothing but love and joy and happiness and beauty and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, you know what? I love chickens. I am definitely going to get me some chickens. So, here, take a look at some footage that I took of Rudy the Rooster and my chicken. And uh, you know what? They've become my little buddies every morning coming by my van. And uh, so now I'm kind of getting old bread from neighbors and whatnot so that I could feed them. So here, just take a look. First things first, how I start my day, well, is not the same as my dog starts her day. She is nestled. See, there she is. She's not getting up. No how, no way. Then I get my wake-up call from Rudy the Rooster. Good morning to you too, Rudy. I love you, you majestic thing. This is Rudy and Ma Chicken grazing off to the right of the van, and I had thrown out some crackers. You can't see them, but they're out there, little pieces, and they hunt and peck until they are absolutely all completely gone. And it is such a treat. See how close they are to the van. Every morning I get to sit and have my coffee with these two little buddies, and they're just so cute. Rudy is an amazing protector, too. He is just the best rooster ever. See? Look at him. Look how cool he looks. Oh, my goodness. I wish they'd have some more chickens. And see, he's always kind of looking out for safety for my chicken. You know, kind of like if there's anything dangerous. And she's usually off to the right or the left. She's a beautiful chicken, too. Oops, I could hold it steady. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how majestic he looks. I don't know of any other way to describe him. But yeah, so I've got a lot to learn about raising these. Oh, oh, he's dancing for me. God love him. Rudy is the best rooster. He stared down a big, huge turkey. And I tell you what, he was not letting go when that turkey was on the property. He went after that turkey, even after he was full of blood and his neck was, I don't know, I was pretty scared for for Rudy the rooster that day, but um, I was able to get him separated and send sent the turkey on his way back home so that Rudy could live another day. Just look at him. I know that a lot of you chicken owners out there are like, oh, this is no big deal. But for me, it is. I mean, this is just such a cool thing to sit and watch. I could literally sit here and watch these chickens for hours, just hunting and pecking and doing their little things. And here Rudy is actually this morning off to the left, the driver's side of the van. I had thrown out some day old bread and my chicken is not with him, so I don't know where she's at, but she'll show up later in the day. It's kind of like Rudy goes out and scouts for food and brings her back later on. But yeah, that's the extension cord that my neighbor Ann is uh, letting me hook up so that I can have some heat. And it's not been real cold here lately, but yeah, that's my property. And if you look in the upper left hand, there's a big rut there. And that's from when it rains really hard, the moisture, the, the water comes off the street and has cut a rut in my land. So if any of you know the best way to fix that, please let me know. It's going to have to be fixed because I'm going to want to plant in that area. So yeah, I definitely love, love chickens. I'm going to get some chickens of my own, but I've got a lot to learn before I start getting them. I've got to build a coop for one. I don't know that I'm going to let them free range quite as freely, um, but I would just feel really, really sad if they ran out into the road and got hit by a car or something. So I don't know, but I got to build a coop. 
So I need to learn how to do that. And then after that, I need to learn how to actually take care of the chickens. So if any of you have any suggestions on the best place to start in learning how to raise chickens, please leave a comment below and um, I'll get started. You know, I think I'm going to look for some books and whatnot because I want to learn everything I need to know before I get the chickens so that I don't lose any, you know, after I get them. But anyhow, um, that's all I've got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.